freaking awesome. <laughs> One time though, I did get to scare a lot of people. I'd like to tell you guys that story. It happened in New York City. I was coming back from the gym. Woo! <laughs> How else do you think I fit in these skinny jeans? <laughs> Come back from the gym and I was in the subway station. I saw my train, I was like, ooh. I'm gonna make you train. I'm gonna get on this train. I swiped my old card, started running towards the train, and the door started to close. This is when I decided to use my nice Indian brain right here and come up with a plan. I was like, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my gym bag. I'm gonna fling it. <laughs> yeah, some of you have caught on already. I'm gonna take my gym bag. I'm gonna fling it. It's gonna get stuck between the doors. The doors aren't gonna close. They're gonna open, and I'm gonna walk on this train like a boss. <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> This was the execution. I took my gym bag. I flung it. In the plan, I wanted to hold on to my bag. But what happened, I kind of let go. And my bag went into the train, the doors closed, and I didn't make it onto the train. For those of you who aren't following along yet, a sweaty brown guy just ran up to a train, took a black duffel bag, So now I'm standing outside the train going, no! Which looks a lot like Allah! Kill that! Oh. And you know when you've done something wrong, but you know there's no way of fixing it, so you kind of just start giggling? That made the situation way scarier. Because now everyone's looking down at my bag, looking back at me, looking back down at the bag, terrified looking at me. And I was like, oh my god, this is my code red. That's what we call it. When a non-threatening brown person scares a lot of people, in our culture we call it a code red. It's a huge deal to us. It's like our bar mitzvah. You know, like, when we become a man, our turban gets a little bigger, we get our first keys to our taxi. It's a huge deal. So I was like, what can I do? What can I do to heighten this situation just a little bit more? How can I scare these people just a little bit more than what's happened? I looked at everybody on the train, I looked at my bag, and I did this. <laughs> 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 Guys, thank you so much. My name is Mitch.